Hi, Brother Tacos is here to share their food with you. Here at Patriot Outdoors Hunting, we are driven by one single goal, to show support to military service members through the therapy of the outdoors. Patriot Outdoors Hunting is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping America's service members after their time on the battlefield has ended. One of the ways we help these brave individuals is through the therapy of the outdoors. If you are a veteran or know a veteran who would enjoy an outdoor experience, please share their name and contact information with us. Patriot Outdoors also invites all veterans to register with us. Each month, we will pick winners of Patriot's outdoor gear, as well as notify veterans of upcoming events. Registering with us will also enter you into our hunts of a lifetime each year. These trips include deer, turkey, and wild boar. To help fund a veteran on an excursion or to donate a product or service to allow more veterans to take part, please contact us at Patriot Outdoors Hunting at gmail.com or call jeremy at 419-579-0427 patriot outdoors hunting connecting veterans with the outdoors home of the free because of the brave looking for a venue to host your party kyle nicely of nicely rentals and storage is here to help solve your problem located between defiance and ayersville nicely rentals and storage offers a party venue for graduations birthdays anniversaries weddings or any event that meets your needs in the spring summer and fall months in the winter months nicely rentals and storage offer storage for vehicles campers boats or anything that needs to be stored and protected do you need tables and chairs for your party? Kyle can help with that as well. Nicely Rentals and Storage can also help with your move as they now have U-Haul available. Give Kyle a call at Nicely Rentals and Storage, 419-439-6177 for booking information. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Hey, you, are you tired of staring at the same digi colors at your home or business? Prosperity Painting is here to help change that. Prosperity Painting is a local painting contractor specializing in interior and exterior painting for residential and commercial homes and buildings. No job is too big. No job is too small for Prosperity Painting. Everything from painting, staining, epoxy floors, and wallpaper removal, Prosperity Painting is here to brighten up your life. They will make your old look new again. Check out Prosperity Painting and its amazing portfolio of work on their Facebook page. And be sure to give Mike a call for a quote at 419-789-0939. Prosperity Painting says, Go Rams! A special thank you to the families of the Schlegel family. Schlegel Family Farms, Chris, Becky Kennedy, Ian, and Lucas. And to Laura Kepi, a lifelong Tenora Rams supporter. Another big thanks to Vince Salidas and Michelle Bacon and their family for supporting the Tenora Rams and all of us here at Tenora Rams Live. Weber Materials and Weber Building Materials is here to serve you and all of your building material needs. Weber Materials is a prominent regional sales and marketer of aggregate for your work site. We take pride in the quality of our work and the integrity of our roots. We also take pride in you, our customer. Our focus is to deliver quality aggregates safely and timely to our valued customers whom we call friends. Call for a quote or more info at 419-394-8870 or check out WeberMaterials.com. Sonora alum Kevin Weber, owner of Weber Materials, says, Let's go Rams. Who was the best pizza in the area? Anyone? Anyone? Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker has won that award three times in the last four years. From pilot bread to their famous pickle pizza, Harold and Liz and the crew are always looking for something special for their customers. Drop into Drop Zone Pizzeria's two locations in downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiance Street in downtown Stryker. Closed on Mondays, but open Tuesday through Thursday and Sunday from 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Place your order by calling Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or Stryker at 419-990-2525. Don't forget to visit them on Facebook at The Drop Zone Pizzeria, where online ordering is available at toasttab.com. The Drop Zone Pizzeria, as always, says, let's go Rams. Hey, you. Are you looking for the best burger around? For the last two years, Firestone Tavern has brought home the award for best burger in the region. Firestone Tavern is also the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, 
and so, so much more. Chef Aaron and his fantastic staff are here to serve nothing but the best to their customers. Be sure to stop out after the game for ice cold drinks and all the games on TV that you can ask for. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course. Hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And from Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Looking to place an order? Give them a call at 419-785-4015 or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the very best to the Tenora Rams. Local farmers, do you need the best crop insurance in the area? If so, Hall Crop Insurance is here to help. Contact Agent Chad Hall at 419-576-6140 for all of your crop insurance needs. Underwriter Nikki Geisiger is also available to assist at 866-341-2767. The staff at Hall Crop Insurance takes pride in their ability to serve their customers. If you need to talk to an agent or have questions about your policy, please give Chad or Nikki a call. Hall Crop Insurance wishes the best to all Tenora teams this season. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. MEC is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. MEC has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the MEC family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain-sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at fairchildfamilychiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters, say go Rams! The following is a special presentation of Tenor Rams Sports Live. With all the action of tonight's matchup, here's Keith Brown. Welcome in. Game number 11 of the 2024 Tenor Rams Boys Baseball season. Coming live here from Aces Field. Your Tenor Rams taking on the Hicksville Aces in the Green Meadows Conference matchup for both teams. Rams come in at 6-4. and four. Hicksville comes in at 2-6. and six. Rams are 1-1 one one in the GMC, where the Aces are 0-2. Oh Looking at the GMC standings, Fairview and Wayne Trace are both undefeated at 2-0. and oh. Tenora, Paulding, Ayersville, and Antwerp come in at 1-1. One one. Edgerton and Hicksville both are 0-2. Oh Overall standings, Fairview, a surprising 6-0. and oh. Coach Singer has the Apaches playing well this early. Wayne Trace, 7-4. Paulding's 4-1, just five games so far for Paulding and Coach Barton. Harrisville is five and four. Antwerp three and three. Edgerton is four and six. And Hicksville is two and six games today. Antwerp and Ayersville, Edgerton and Paulding, Hicksville and Tenora, and Wayne Trace and Fairview. All time series since 2000. Rams lead 21 to five. Last season at Tenora, Rams came away with an 8 2 win. Alec Shoblin got the win on the hill. Also hit two solo home runs off of Lima. Kane Razik had a three-run double also for the Rams. Brody Balzer, Brody Balzer had two hits, and we said Aaron Klima was tagged with the loss. Welcome to today's Signs Excavating pregame show. First pitch is set for 5 p.m. Signs Excavating can assist with your general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to disc cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Science Excavating is the official pregame sponsor of the Tenor Rams Live Spring Sports Season. For all your excavating needs, get a hold of Josh. 419-769-2290. And for your heavy haul trucking needs, you can get a hold of Brad Signs. 419-481-3738. Visit them on Facebook or ScienceExcavating.com. He said Rams coming at 6-4 and four. last week. Rams with a heartbreaking loss to Wayne Trace last Tuesday. And over the weekend, Rams went down to St. Henry on Friday, defeated the Redskins. And then Saturday, they were defeated by 
Bell Fountain. And Rams come in at one and one in the GMC after a 3-2 win over Edgerton on Tuesday. Last year, Rams had a class of six. Corbin Castile, Ty Wimpkin, Eli Plasman, Dalton Warfram, and Taryn Ward. Last year's Rams were 19-6. and six. They were 5-2 and two in the GMC. Rams lost to Ottawa Hills in the sectional finals. This year, Rams returned eight letter winners. Now, a senior class of four, Riley Peters, B.J. Morlock, Connor Wolfram, and Caden Radzik. Rams hitting attack led by shortstop Caden Radzik. Last year, Caden hit 380, had 26 runs batted in. This year, Caden's 387 with nine runs batted in. Leadoff man Nate Mosier coming in with a average of 300 with eight stolen bases. Al Chauvin, 412, two home runs and a team leading 14 RBIs. Rams average seven runs a game, batting average of 284. Also, Hunter Bosselman tearing up the last couple of weeks, has his average up to 407. Hunter does. He has seven RBIs and a solo home run on the season. Hunter Bosselman is 2 0 on the mound, has an ERA of 1.05. Bosselman, we said, 407 average. Mason McQuillan, 2 0 on the hill. Fort Nora, ERA of 2.62. Rams' team ERA is 2.26. Looking at the Aces, Rams, Rams, Aces last year went 10 and 3. They were 0 and 7 in the GMC. Graduated with second team all GMC member Maverick Keysbury hit 397. Had seven stolen bases on the mound. Keysbury was 3 and 5, area 3.29. He had 37 strikeouts in 51 innings. He was also honorable mention. Brody Balzer graduated 378 for Balzer. Aaron Klima. 342 last year. On the mound, Cleveland was 1-6 and six, at 57 strikeouts in 42 and two-thirds innings. This year, eight letter women return to the current two and six aces. Top returning pitcher, the junior Austin Sanders. Sanders has pitched in nine games last year, and he was 3-0 and oh with 26 strikeouts in 32 innings of work in 2023. Sanders at the plate hit 295 for coach Struck over here at Hicksville. Also, last year, Sanders had 10 stolen bases. 2024, Sanders is hitting 357, has two runs batted in. And on the mound, he's 0 2, nine innings pitch, ERA of seven. He's got eight strikeouts with six base on balls. Newcomers, Eli Lawrence hitting 316 with three runs batted in. And freshman Deacon Bell, 250 this year, included. And the Aces' depth is David Taylor, who returns for his senior season last year, hit 270. Taylor this year hitting 273, has four runs better than this early season. Fellow senior Ryland Bassett also back, splitting outfield and catching duties. Bronson Graber hit 295 last year, returns. Bassett this year has 238 with three runs better than junior outfielders Carter Sheets. Hitting 400 with minimal playing time this year. And Braden Dix hitting 300 in minimal plate appearances this season. On the mound, Ryland Bassett leads in innings with nine and two-thirds. Bassett has a win along with Langham. Each have a win each. Stuckey has 11 strikeouts. And Bassett has 10 for the Aces staff. Hicksville is coached by Tim Schock. 11th season, 118 and 105. One final four appearance that came in 2018. That was a 21 and six year. They lost to Fort Laramie in the championship game in Division Four by a score of eight to four. That was Parker Theo and Jake Greer era back then, assisted by Ryan Miser, Phil Handy, and Garrett France. Superintendent Keith Countryman. Principal at Hicksville is Aaron Highlander. Dr. John Haggerty is your trainer. Athletic directors, Mr. Jeff Hawk, assisted by Paul Overmeyer. Hicksville Colors is red, white, and black. They are from the GMC. They are Division 4, 218 total enrollment, 121 boys, 97 girls. Their last GMC title came in 2017. Rams are coached by head coach Brent Renolette. 24 years at Sonora. BR is 4'11 and 154. 26 years coaching overall, two years at Delta. Overall coaching record for Coach Renolette. 449 and 180 picked up career win number 400 back 
In 2021, he kicked, picked up his career win number 400 with Tenora versus Ottaville last year. He's assisted by Chuck Carey, Reed Anders, and Eric Tipton. JV coaches Tom Henry. His assistants are Paul Farrell and Chris Wittick. Superintendent at Northeastern Local Schools is Nicole Wells. Your high school principal is Alex Nassiger. Your athletic director, Mr. Jake Essick, is doing a fantastic job in his first year. Trainer at Sonora High School is Emily Volmar. Rams colors are Hunter Green and White. There are Division Three, 274 total enrollment. 147 boys, 127 girls. Rams have four Final Four appearances, all consecutive, 2011, 12, 13, and 14. They have one state title in 2014, which we'll probably talk about a little into today's game. Talking up here with Jack and Joe, a little reminiscent about 2014 game over in Bryan between these two teams. That was a district semifinal, I believe, but we said we'll talk more about that. A little in depth a little bit later. Rams have 10 GMC titles, most recent 2022. So, wherever you are and however you may be listening, thanks to tuning in to tonight's game. Coming up live from Hicksville High School, see Tano Rams taking on the Hicksville Aces in a Green Medals Conference contest. Broadcast booth tonight brought to you by Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon, located in Defiance Isle, 413 Hopkins Street is their address. And game scoreboard brought to you by Drop Zone Pizzeria. In Striker and Nearsville, your pregame signs excavating video sponsor Bat and Stevens Body Shop in Jewel, Ohio. Strikeouts courtesy of Hall Crop Insurance. Mr. Chad Hall and Nikki Geisinger can take care of all you farmers out there looking for crop insurance. Pitching changes courtesy of Prosperity Painting. Get a hold of Mike if you want to change up the inside of your house or the outside of your house. They'll get it looking brand new. Check them out on Facebook. Check out their portfolio. Will not be disappointed. Runs brought to you by Oklahoma Tavern. Each Tenor run brought to you by Brad and Julie Wilkerson. Stop in downtown Oklahoma Tavern there. Get some fantastic wings, some burgers, some fries, some onion rings, you name it. Oklahoma Tavern, place to stop. Stolen Bases is brought to you by Clubhouse Pizza and A. After the game, stop in and see. The Gilliams. Get some of that fantastic pizza. Home Runs brought to you by Aftershocks Carts and Equipment. Spring and summer, right around the corner. Get your golf cart turned up. Stop out and see Chad Shock. Stay Route 15 North. Aftershocks Carts and Equipment. Post game show brought to you by Bidlack Insurance and Investments. Get a hold of Mr. Tim Bidlack. He has some questions involving investments or insurance. Tim and Austin Bidlack do a fantastic job. Player of the game and a Rams win. Brought to you by Higby Embroidery. Connie Higby. Nobody in Defiance, Ohio, in the Snow Rams School District, does not have any apparel made by Connie. I'm sure, if you check your closet and ask any of your friends, each one of them probably has a couple dozen apparel items brought to you by Higby Embroidery and Connie. Uniforms tonight Rams in the all grays with the Hunter Green numbers and trim or white trim. And Hicksville will be in the red pinstripes on the tops with black numbers and white trim. All white pants with red piping down the sides. David Frank weather forecast over here at Hicksville is mostly cloudy. And your and David Frog temperature is 69. We'll turn things over to the P and here, Mr. Joe, the with the starting lineups game. for today's game. First for the visiting Tenora Rams. Leading off playing left field, number six, Caden Mosier. Batting second, playing shortstop, number 11, Caden Radzik. Batting third and pitching, number 21, Alec Shoplin. Batting fourth, designated hitter, number 19, Hunter Bosselman. And playing first base, Riley Peters. Batting fifth and catching, number 23, Parker Hancock. Batting sixth and playing second base, number nine, Mason McQuillan. Batting seventh and playing third base, number one, Adam Spichala. Batting eighth and playing center field, number four, Alex Homeyer. And batting ninth, playing right field, number three, Trenton Del Arbor. The non-starters, number 10, Dom Graziani. Number seven, Connor Wolfram. Number five, B.J. Morlock. And number 15, Owen Farrell. 
The Rams are managed by Brent Renolette. He is assisted by Chuck Carey, Reed Anders, and Eric Tipton. And now the starting lineups for your Hicksville Aces. <laughs> Leading off and playing center field, number 10, Parker Bassett. <laughs> playing shortstop, number 2, Eli Lawrence. <laughs> Batting third and pitching, number 1, Austin Sanders. <laughs> Batting fourth and playing right field, number 9, Owen Stuckey. <laughs> Batting fifth and playing second base, number 12, David Taylor. Batting sixth and playing first base, number 31, Aiden Pollock. Batting seventh and playing left field, number three, Ryland Bassett. Batting eighth and catching, number eight, Bronson Graber. Batting ninth and playing third base, number four, Brant Langham. Your non-starter, number five, Caden Steffel. The Aces are managed by Tim Schock, and he is assisted by Ryan Miser. Your official scorekeeper, Jack Shock, and the, uh, the scoreboard operator, Mad Dog Yoder. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, will you please rise and direct your attention to the flag located behind the center field wall and join in the singing as we play our national anthem. playing of our national anthem over here at Hicksville High School. And as always, whenever we come over here, we have a fantastic time because these two gentlemen up here in the booth with me, Jack and Joe, and it's like the last time we're over here, we're going to have to mute a couple of times because these two gentlemen will have us cracking up the entire game, which they already have during the pregame. So they do a great job over here at Hicksville. For the aces on the mound, Austin Sanders. Sanders is 0-2 this young season. Nine innings pitch. He started two games, ERA of seven. He's walked six, struck out eight, allowed 10 hits, 13 runs, nine earned runs. And one thing that Coach Shock is probably not happy with here this season is 29 errors by the aces. Sanders is on the mound. Bronson Graber behind the plate. Aiden Pollock at first. David Taylor's at second. Eli Lawrence at short. Brent Langham is at third. Ryland Bassett is in the left. Parker Bassett is in center. Owen Stuckey is in right for the host, the Hicksville Aces. And as always, we ask you out there watching and listening over unders for trains throughout the game tonight. So my guess is four. Four for your announcers over under tonight. <laughs> Joe says under four. What do you got, Jack? Over. over four, says Jack. Mad Dog Yoder's got over as well. So we'll see. We'll keep track. I'm working on my scorecard here. And we'll let you know <laughs> what the... <laughs> My partner, Logan Dick Logan Dickerson, Logan Bailey, which said Logan Dickerson only because Logan stopped out Tuesday to talk to the Rams after the game. It was nice to see Logan. But Logan Bailey does a great job on Northwest Ohio Sports. If you haven't done so, make sure you check that out. Logan also said four 
for the over-under for trains tonight. So that's one of our more funner things we do when we come over here is over-under for trains. Train time temperature, 84 degrees. Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> We're, we don't even have a pitch in yet. And we're already... <laughs> Not 84 degrees here for Jack. <laughs> Aiden Mosier leads off. Mosier hitting 300 with two RBIs and eight stolen bases on the year. First pitch from Austin Sanders inside leans Mosier back. One-oh pitch is inside. Ball two. Let's Jack do us for a loop there. Official game time temperature 68 degrees here in Hicksville, Ohio. <laughs> Two-0 pitch. That's a strike. Two balls and a strike. Just underway over here at Aces Field here at Hicksville. inside corner. Strike two called. Collie evens at two balls and two strikes. Rams on the first base dugout. Aces on the third base dugout. Very little wind here. Sanders winds and fires. 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit second base side. Second base side of the bag. David Taylor scoops it up. Fires over to Pollock. Nice play. Bang, bang, play with her first. Nip Bozier. On the 4-3, put out for out number one. Going to bring up number two hitter, Caden Radzik. Radzik, senior shortstop, hitting 387. Has nine runs batted in. Two steals for Caden. Radzik, three-year starter, bats from the right side. First pitch by Sanders. A little bit high, ball one. As soon as I say there's no wind, the wind picks up and blows my papers all over. <laughs> One no pitch to Radzik. Outside corner, strike called. Count evens the ball and a strike. Infield, outfield, playing Radzik straight up. Sanders winds. 1-1 One -one pitch to Caden. Hit third base side. Scooped up by Brant Langham. Throws across. In time to retire, Radzik. 6-3, or 5-3 on that put out. Going to bring with number three hitter, Alex Shoblin. Shoblin will be on the mound for the Rams. Alex hitting 4-12 this season. Two home runs, 15 runs batted in, and three stolen bases. Shoblin. Bats from the right side. Long look by Sanders. Finally gets the side. Winds it up, throws. Off the glove of Bronson Graber to the backstop. Picked up by Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman, the son of Charlie Bosselman, who actually was the head coach over here at Hicksville right about 15 years ago. Charlie, a heck of a football coach over here. Lucas Smith followed Bosselman up. 1-0 pitch, strike called. One ball, one strike, two outs. Base is empty. Top of inning number one, no score. Sanders winds up. 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside, two balls and a strike to Alex Shoblin. Rams at 6-4, and 1-1 one and one in the GMC. Aces 2-6, and 0-2 oh in the GMC. Pitch to Shoblin. Snips the outside corner. Count evens at 2. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases empty. Sanders, 2-2 two, two pitch. Shoblin, ground ball, third base side. Scooped up by Langham. Throws over the first in time to get Shoblin. Rams go down quickly in order in the inning for the Rams. 
No runs, no hits, no aces there. The Rams do not leave anybody on base. Bottom of the first inning, we go. Coming up, Rams nothing. Aces coming to bat on your drop zone. Pizza Rhea scoreboard. Does your golf cart need service or need new batteries? Is your golf cart ready for winter? Chad Shock at Aftershock Carts and Equipment, located at 8144 State Route 15 here in Defiance, services all makes and models for gas and electric golf carts. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 9 to 5. 784 1806 and online at aftershotcarts.com. Hey, you! Are you tired of staring at the same digi colors at your home or business? Prosperity Painting is here to help change that. Prosperity Painting is a local painting contractor specializing in interior and exterior painting for residential and commercial homes and buildings. No job is too big. No job is too small for Prosperity Painting. Everything from painting, staining, epoxy floors, and wallpaper removal, Prosperity Painting is here to brighten up your life. They will make your old look new again. Check out Prosperity Painting and its amazing portfolio of work on their Facebook page. And be sure to give Mike a call for a Quote at 419-789-0939. Prosperity Painting says, Go Rams! Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Bottom of the first inning we go here over at Hicksville. On the mound is Alex Shoblin for Tenora. Hard luck starts so far this season for Shoblin. He's 1-3, and three, the area of 3.29. 17 innings pitch, he's allowed 18 runs, just 8 earned runs. 15 hits, 10 walks for Shoblin. He struck out 17. Defensively for the Rams, Parker Hancock behind the plate. Riley Peters at first. Mason McCollin at second. Cade Razix at short. Alex or Adam Spicella is at third. Aiden Mosier is in left. Alex Holmeyer is in center. And Trenton DeLarber is in right. Going to face the lineup for the Aces. Parker Bassett leads it off in center field. Eli Lawrence hitting second at short. Austin Sanders on the mound hitting third. Owen Stuckey in the cleanup spot. He's in a right field. Hitting fifth, David Taylor at second. Aiden Pollock in your sixth spot at first base. Ryland Bassett in left field in your seventh spot. Eighth spot is Bronson Graber behind the plate. Brant Langham hitting ninth and is at third base. Parker Bassett leads it off for Coach Strox Aces. 520 for Bassett has an RBI and five stolen bases. First pitch swung on hit third base side. Spicella scoops up the short hop, fires over to first base to retire Bassett. The third ground ball to the third third baseman so far. Two by the Rams, one here in the bottom of the second. Shortstop. Eli Lawrence. 5-3 on that put out for out number one. It's going to bring up Eli Lawrence. Lawrence, 316 on the season, has two runs batted in. First pitch is a ball to Eli Lawrence. Shoblin. 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Choplin 1-1. One, one. Outside, two balls and a strike. Bases empty, one out. as the Aces bat here in the bottom of inning number one. Choplin's 2-1. Up and in, three balls and a strike. To Eli Lawrence. Austin Sanders is on deck. Choplin works out of the stretch exclusively. 3-1 pitch. Hit deep right field. Back goes to Larber. He can't make the catch. It's over his head. Plays it on a hop. Fires into second base, but not before. An opposite field double by Eli Lawrence. Aces have a runner in scoring position with one out. Now batting, pitcher Austin Sanders. Number three hitter, Austin Sanders steps in. One. 317 for Sanders. Two runs batted in. He has a stolen base. Bats from the left side. Austin Sanders does. Sanders, the junior, very versatile for Coach Strock. Shoblin 
Shoblin throws it up and in. Sanders leans back. Owen Stuckey's on deck. Decent lead by the runner. Line shot right at the second baseman. Mason McQuillan snags it for out number two to retire Sanders. Sanders hit it right on the sweet the spot. Hit it right, right at Owen McQuillan at second. Owen Stuckey steps in 200 for Stuckey. Three runs batted in the stolen bases for the right fielder. Stuckey Jr., Swings from the right side. Runner at second. Leads away. Lawrence. Swung on and missed. Strike called. Aces with the runner at second. Two outs now in this scoreless game. Bottom of inning number one here. Chapman looks back at the runner. as 0-1 pitch. Swung on, hit. Third base side. Spicella scoop. The throws over, scooped up by Peters. Nice play over there by Riley to scoop it up out of the dirt for out number three. Five three on the put out for the Aces. Get a runner in scoring position at second. Cannot score. No runs for Hicksville. They get a hit. No ram errors. The Aces leave one on base. We'll be back with the top of inning number two on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. We are scoreless as we head to break. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance is your local full-service pawn shop. Do you need some extra cash? Wooden Indian Pawn will pay top dollar. Located at 5727 State Route 66, North in Defiance, Ohio, Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun will buy everything. Well, almost everything. They buy and sell jewelry, game consoles, firearms, electronics, watches, and band instruments. Do you need a small loan? Wooden Indian Pawn can assist you with that as well. Serving Northwest Ohio for over 25 years, Wooded Indian Pawn and Gun is currently carrying a full line of gun and ammunition to fill your needs. Current owner Shar Williams has worked at the Wooded Indian for over 16 years and is an expert in many areas. Hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 419-784-9880 or visit online at woodenindianpawn.com and be sure to check out their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams! Back here, top of inning number two. Rams are going to send four, five, and six. Bosselman, Hancock, and McQuillan to face Austin Sanders. Jack, the viewers are asking if you could move this metal bar out of the way here. Can you can you do that? <laughs> Jack, Jack says right now we can't move it, but next time we come over... <laughs> Oh, well, they've added some nice stairs back here. I kind of miss, I kind of miss climbing up here with all my equipment up the fire ladder, Jack. <laughs> we got Joe down here with the Rockin' 80s playlist. We got Jack up here cracking jokes. Mad Dog's kind of quiet right now, but he'll pipe up soon. <laughs> Bosselman steps in. 407 for Bosselman. First pitch by Sanders. Just missed. Bosselman, a solo home run. Seven runs batted in. Three stolen bases for Hunter. Swan on. Shoots it up the elevator to second base. David Taylor has it drift away from him and can't make the play. Taylor was underneath it. And the... Really no wind here at Hicksville. At least the flags aren't blowing. I don't know if they got them tied down, but. So Bosselman on first base. Got to bring up Parker Hancock. Throw order first base. Back safely is Bosselman. Uh, Pollock slaps a tag on him. Parker 333 this season. Pitch inside. Ball and no strikes. No score here. Top of the second inning over at Hicksville. Jack's an old school score. I like him. He says that's a hit, which is what I have in my scorebook as well. Me and Jack are going to get along great. 
which we usually do. <laughs> that pitch catches the inside corner. Count evens at a ball and a strike. Last time we were over here was 2022. Jackson Bergman battled Case and Wolfram. Rams won 7 0. Throw over to first base. Back safely is Bosselman. Tuesday at home versus Edgerton, the Rams swiped eight bases as a team. Bosselman stays put. Sanders pitch. This is ball two. Two balls and a strike. Sanders shorten up his motion on that pitch. At least it looked like a little bit. Possible stays put. 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed by Parker Hancock. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Hancock asks for time. Going to head down and talk to third base coach Brett Renolette. Coach Renolette, 24 years at Sonora. 4-11 and 154. 26 years overall for BR, 449 and 180 in his coaching career. Coach Strock, 11th season, 118 and 105. One final four appearance for Coach Strock, that was 2018. There goes the runner, Hancock hits the third base side just outside the line. Coach Renolette down there, I think Jack put E, E, <laughs> E E B R. <laughs> also went back to first. Hancock back in the batter's box. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here. Runner at first is Hunter Bosselman. Sanders comes set, looks at the runner. 2-2 two -two pitch. Drilled in between third and short. Shortstop deep in the hole. Fires across. In time. A heck of a play by Eli Lawrence at short. Deep in the hole, third base side, slid on a knee, got up, fired over to first base now to retire Parker Hancock. What a play by Lawrence. Bosselman went down to second. He's going to bring up Mason McQuillan. Sanders steps off, and Bosselman scampers back to second. No throw. McQuillan, 136 on the year, has three runs batted in and a stolen base. Pitch is outside. Nice backhanded stab by Bronson Graber to prevent the wild pitch. Rams with the runner a second, one out. Number six hitter, second baseman, Mason McQuillan. At the plate with the one ball, no strike count. Pitch. A little bit up and in. Count evens at a ball and a strike. <laughs> Bosselman leads away at second. Has a decent lead down there, Hunter does. Sanders looks back at him. Pitch to the plate. Swung on and missed. Two balls and a strike to Mason McQuillan. Austin Sanders last year appeared in nine games, had an ERA of 3.89. It's 3 0. Throwback. Back safely is Bosselman. Last year, 26 strikeouts and 32 innings for Austin Sanders. Sanders from the set looks back at the runner. Comes to the plate. Pitch to McQuillan. He drills at center field. Back goes center fielder Parker Bassett. It's over his head. Bosselman hits third. He's going to try and score, and he does. McQuillan in with a RBI double to give the Rams an early 1-0 lead. Ball is hit right at Parker Bassett. It's one of those balls. When it's right at you, you don't know exactly what you do. Bassett froze for a split second, and that was enough for the ball to sail over his head. Having a Spicella steps in. Spicella 160. Four RBIs and three steals for the Rams third baseman. McCullen leads away at second. One out. Sanders to the plate. One attempt. 
In comes Sanders, dives, had it in his glove, hit the ground, and it popped out. But an excellent attempt there by Austin Sanders. Came in like a diving center fielder, just popped out of his glove. Alex Homeyer. McQuillan had to hold it second, fear the ball would be caught. So it's by Chella down at first base. Going to bring up number eight hitter, Alex Homeyer. Homeyer, 077 this season. Runners lead from first and second. Throw back to second, off the glove of the second baseman, Taylor, into right center field. That's going to allow the runners to move up. McQuillan down to third, Spicella down to second. That's going to be an error to allow the runners to move up. So Holmeyer with two runners in a scoring position now here in the top of inning number two with the Rams leading one nothing. Rams will be home tomorrow versus Stryker at Group Field. Pitch to Holmeyer catches the outside corner. Strike one. Curtin to Larber on deck for Sonora. Sanders works out of the windup with runners at second, third. 0-1 pitch coming. A little tapper right back to Sanders. He's going to try and come home. He does. They tagged him out at the plate. Nice heads-up play by Austin Sanders through to Bronson Graber to retire Mason McQuillan. So McQuillan's cut down at the plate for out number two. One, two on the put out. Now batting. Going down to third base is Adam Spicella. And McQuillan walking slowly back to the dugout. I don't know if he jammed his knee or his ankle as they slid in to Bronson Graber. Still one nothing. We'll bring up Trent DeLarber. DeLarber bats from the left side of the plate. Runners with first and or first and third. There goes the runner. So Holmeyer. Down to second. Pitch fouled off third base side. Counted to Trent Larber as a ball and a strike. Rams with a single run so far here. That was Hunter Bosselman. A lot of action on the base pass. Runner at third. And the Spicello leads away. Pitch to the plate by Sanders. Up and in to Trent DeLarber. Two balls and a strike to DeLarber. Two outs. Rams lead one nothing. Sanders works out of the windup with the runner at third. 2-1 pitch to DeLarber. Swung on and missed. Strike two. A little bit outside there. Trenton trying to go the opposite field. Sanders back up top the mound. Gets the sign from Graber. Winds it up. 2-2 two -two pitch coming to DeLarber. Soft fly ball into foul territory down the first base side. And Aiden Pollock puts it away for out. Number three. So F3 on that put out for out number three. Rams have a lot of action. They just get one run. Tor got three hits in the inning. And two Hicksville errors. Rams leave one on base. Bottom of the second inning coming up. Here from Hicksville High School. See, Tenor Rams one. Hicksville aces nothing on your Drop Zone Pizzeria Scoreboard. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. Mech is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. Mech has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the Mech family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, 
gain sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short term and long term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Battle of the second inning coming up here from Hicksville. Five, six, and seven. David Taylor, Aiden Pollock, and Ryland Bassett to face Alec Shoblin. Shoblin. The righty pitches from the stretch. First pitch swung on and missed. Double ahead of Taylor. No balls in a strike. Looking at some of the area leaders, Patrick Henry has the top two hitters. Mac Heber hitting 619. Nash Meyer 563. Pitch fouled back. Shoblin quickly ahead of Taylor. No balls and two strikes. RBI is Alex Shoblin actually leading the area with 15. Carter Dominic of Bryan and Brevin Anderson of Wayne Trace have 12. Kale Winans has 10 for the Raiders. 0-2 pitch, little tapper, first base side. Peters up with it, throws over to, well, he fakes the throw to Shoblin, and Peters takes him himself. For out number one, that's just three unassisted. Going to bring up the Maddie, number six hitter. First baseman, Aiden Pollock. Aiden Pollock. So Pollock steps in, 158 this season with a run batted in. Aiden Mosier leads the area in runs scored with 13. Tucker Antoine has six doubles to lead the area. And he's from Wayne Trace. And Carter Clemens has two also from the Raiders. First pitch to Alec is a strike. Alec at first base. Pitch fouled third base side. Mr. Shock down there failed to make that play. Matt Kieber, 3-0, along with Khalil Legan for Defiance. Cole Mack, also 3-0 for Fairview. He's got to make up game versus the Apaches coming up in a couple weeks. Pitch swung on, fouled back, third base side. No balls and two strikes. Strikeouts, Matt Kieber leads the area with 38 strikeouts. Grayson Harder from Paulding is second with 35. Sam Newsom from Continental is third with 30. 0-2 pitch, outside, ball one. Defiance, 7-1 and one overall. They're 3-0 and oh in the WBL, tied with Elida at 3-0. and oh. Elida's 7-4 and four in the WBL. 1-2, and two. hit right back through the box. Radzik out there, scoops it, throws wide. Going to be an error on the shortstop. E6. Well, it's Pollock to reach. That's going to bring up Ryland Bassett. Now batting, left fielder Ryland Bassett. So Bassett comes to the plate with runner at first. And nobody out. For the Tenor, that's their 34th error this season. Pitch outside, ball one to Ryland Bassett. 238 for Bassett. Three RBIs with two stolen bases. Alec leads from first. 1-0 pitch coming to Bassett. Swung on, drilled by the shortstop in the center field. Holmeyer comes in, scoops it up, fires back in. Aces have runners at first and second with one out. Number eight hitter, catcher Bronson Graber. 136 for Graber, has an RBI. Aces of the team hitting 254 through eight games. Chauvin looks at the runner at second. Comes set. Throws to the plate, and he hits Bronson Graber right in the left shoulder. That's going to load him up. Pollock down to third. Bassett down to second. Graber will trot down the first after the hit by pitch. Bases full of aces. Going to bring up number... Third baseman, Brant Langham. Nine hitter. Brant Langham. Langham at third. 
048 this season with two RBIs. Chance to tie the game or give the Aces the lead. one nothing to Nora, bottom of the second. Joblin's pitch, swung on and missed. Strike one. Thanks for joining us on Sonora Rams Live on this Thursday. Keith Brown solo up here. Peters in at the cut of the grass at first for Tenora. Spicella third even with the bag. Middle infield back in double play depth. Swung on and miss. Strike two. Leadoff hitter Parker Bassett on deck for the Aces. Traveling quickly ahead of Langham. No balls and two strikes. Chaplin winds, throws. This is outside. Ball and two strikes. One, two pitch coming from Shoblin. Swung on and missed. Huge out for Shoblin and the Rams. Langham goes down swinging for out number two. Top of the lineup for the Aces, Parker Bassett. Fielder, Parker Bassett. Bassett, 520 coming into the game. Crowded out the third, his first plate appearance in the first. He has the bases loaded. Shoblin, wire, winds, makes his throw back to second. Bassett scampers back to the back. Shoblin's pitch to the plate. Catches the outside corner. Strike one call to Parker Bassett. Rams do not have a game this Saturday. Lady Rams have a doubleheader in cold water. 0-1 pitch coming. Swung on and miss. Shovel in the head of Bassett. No balls and two strikes. Reverse raffle Saturday night as well. Still got a couple tickets left. Doors open at 5. Ridgeville Legion. 50 bucks, meal, and all the fun you can have. So get hold of a booster member. Send us a message here. We'll get you a ticket. Choplin's 0-2 pitch to Bassett. Tap foul, third base side. Count stays, no balls, and two strikes. Eli Lawrence on deck, and Choplin hopes to see Lawrence next inning. Bases full of aces, two outs. They trail one nothing here in the bottom of the second. Choplin's 0-2, strike three called. Bassett. Watch that one go by. Huge strikeout to end the inning for Tenora. Aces threaten. They do not score. No runs for Hicksville. Get a hit. One ram air. Three aces left on base. Top of the third we go over here at Aces Field at Hicksville High School. It is the Tenora Rams 1, and the Hicksville Ace is nothing on your drop zone pizza area scoreboard. Here at Patriot Outdoors Hunting, we are driven by one single goal, to show support to military service members through the therapy of the outdoors. Patriot Outdoors Hunting is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping America's service members after their time on the battlefield has ended. One of the ways we help these brave individuals is through the therapy of the outdoors. If you are a veteran or know a veteran who would enjoy an outdoor experience, please share their name and contact information with us. Patriot Outdoors also invites all veterans to register with us. Each month, we will pick winners of Patriot's outdoor gear, as well as notify veterans of upcoming events. Registering with us will also enter you into our hunts of a lifetime each year. These trips include deer, turkey, and wild boar. To help fund a veteran on an excursion or to donate a product or service to allow more veterans to take part, please contact us at Patriot Outdoors Hunting at gmail.com or call Jeremy at 419-579-0427. Patriot Outdoors Hunting, connecting veterans with the outdoors, home of the free because of the brave. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Hicksville, Rams escape that. Bases loaded, one out situation. Shoveling back-to-back strikeouts. Got Langham and Bassett to end the inning unscathed after the Aces loaded the bases with one out. For Tenora this inning, they're going to send the top of the lineup, one, two, and three, to face Austin Sanders. Mosier, Radzik, and Shoblin will be the three to bat against Austin Sanders. Last inning, Sanders made a couple very athletic plays to keep the damage to the men. 
Sonora. It's like they had runners on the entire inning and just played it one. Mosier bats from the left side. The left fielder digs in. First pitch from Sanders as Mosier scores around the bunt. Misses outside. Ball one. Sanders gets the sign from Graber. Winds it up. 1-0 pitch to Mosier. Just a bit outside again. Two balls and no strikes. Sanders 2-0 to Mosier. All three pitches almost in the same exact spot. Three balls and no strikes to the leadoff hitter for Tenora, Aiden Mosier. Three zero pitch coming to Mosier. Squares around the bunt, up and in. Ball four. So Mosier always a threat to go. Trots down to first base. Now batting, Aiden Radzlick. So Mosier starts the Rams top of the third with a leadoff walk. Caden Radzlick steps in, grounded to third. His first plate appearances. Caden came in hitting three eighty seven. Sanders steps off, fires over to first base, back. The head first dive over at first is Aiden Mosier. Mosier rates stolen bases this season. Another throw over back is Mosier. Pitch to the plate. Radzik leans out of the way. One ball and no strikes. Rams lead 1-0 as they bat here in the top of the third. one no pitch coming by Sanders to Radzik. A little high. Two balls and a strike. Sanders, 33 pitches, 20 strikes so far. It's allowed two hits, one run that was unearned. 2-0 pitch, strike called on the outside corner. Two balls and a strike to the Rams shortstop, Caden Radzik. Throw over to first base back is Mosier. Pitch is high. Three balls. And a strike. Sanders had great control through the first two innings. Lost a touch so far here through the first two batters in the top of the third. Mosier leads away at first. Sanders checks him. Comes to the plate. Outside corner. Strike two call. Count is full on Caden Radzik. Three balls and two strikes. Mosier's at first. One out. Rams lead one nothing here in the top of inning number three. And you're over under trainers. There has been no trains so far. Payoff pitch coming to Radzik. There goes the runner. Pitch is high and away. Ball four. As the throw goes into center field, Mosier's going to make the turn and head to third. Throw gets to the fence. Backed up. Nicely by Sanders. However, that's going to allow Radzik to go to third on that. So Radzik gets a walk. Mosier with a stolen base, so he goes over to third on the throw of the first throwing error. I'll get with the official scorekeeper up here, but I think there was two errors on the play. Runners on second and third for Tenora. Strike called to Alex Shoblin. Mr. Jack says, yes, two errors on the play. Shoblin crowned it out to third in the first. 4 12 coming in for Alex. Or Alec. Alec bats from the right side. Sanders, long look in, gets the sign, winds it up. Pitch stays outside. 
A ball and a strike to Alex Shoblin. There was an error on the catcher on the first error and an error on the center field for the second error. 1-1 one, one pitch to Alex Shoblin. Swung on, drilled deep left center. Center fielder over there makes the catch in the gap. Parker Bassett snags it, throws it in, tagging up and scoring from third is Aiden Mosier for the Rams' second run. Well, Shoblin gets an RBI on the sacrifice fly to center. Now That's the first out. It's going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. Staying at second base was Caden Radzik. Bosselman singled and scored an under run in the second. 407 coming in. Bosselman. Sanders. First pitch to the plate. Strike on the outside corner. Top of the third, 2 0 Tenora as they bat with a runner at second and one out. Hunter Bosselman. Bats from the right side. 0 1 pitch to Hunter. Old Tapper. Right to the Third base side of the plate in foul territory. Bronson Graber scoops it up, fires it back to Austin Sanders. Sanders ahead, no balls and two strikes to Hunter. Parker Hancock on deck for Tenora. 0-2 pitch, drilled left field going over in the left center gap is Ryland Bassett to make a nice running catch. Back-to-back -back good plays by the Aces outfield. F7 on the putout for out number two. Radzik stays at second. He's there now with two outs. He's going to bring up Parker Hancock. Parker Hancock. Hancock, 333 coming into the game. Grounded to short on a fantastic play by Eli Lawrence. Backhanded it deep in the hole and fired across to get Hancock. Sanders' first pitch. This is outside, ball one. Radzik leads away a second. Two outs now. Hancock at the plate, batting from the right side. Sanders' long look at Radzik comes to the set, comes to the plate, strike. Called. Count evens at the ball and a strike. Wind blowing ever so slightly straight away to center field, probably less than five miles an hour. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Hancock. Sanders catches the outside corner, a ball and two strikes. Hancock way back in the box. A little towards the plate on the stance. 1-2 pitch, swung on, tapped foul, third base side. Ace McQuillan on deck for Tenora. Caden Radzik leads away. 1-2 pitch coming from Sanders. Pitch to Hancock is a little bit high. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Rams with the single run in the second and the single run in the third. They lead 2-0. Aces threatened. Last inning had the bases loaded with one out and did not score. Checks the runner. Pitch to the plate by Sanders. Hancock just got a piece of it to stay alive. Two balls and two strikes. Hancock's Sanders, 2-2 two -two pitch to Hancock. Back near us here, and it lands right on top of us. Bronson Graber came back. We'll do all over again. Two balls and two strikes. Sanders gets the sign from Grape. Looks back at Radzik at second. 2-2 two -two pitch to the plate. Just missed outside. Count goes full at three balls and two strikes.
Payoff pitch coming from Sanders to Hancock. Followed back again. Parker staying alive. Payoff pitch coming. 3-2 pitch. Hancock reaches out, pops it. First base side, Sanders calls for it, makes the catch. About a half a foot in foul territory down the first base side to retire. Hancock for out number three. F1 in foul territory there. The Rams get a single run. Again, a lot of action for the Rams with just one run. And they do so without a hit. Two errors for the Aces. Rams lead one on base. Bottom of inning number three coming up here at Hicksville. It's your Rams two and the Hicksville Aces zero on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Weber Materials and Weber Building Materials is here to serve you and all of your building material needs. Weber Materials is a prominent regional sales and marketer of aggregate for your work site. We take pride in the quality of our work and the integrity of our roots. We also take pride in you, our customer. Our focus is to deliver quality aggregates safely and timely to our valued customers whom we call friends. Call for a quote or more info at 419-394-8870 or check out WeberMaterials.com. Tenora alum Kevin Weber, owner of Weber Materials, says, Let's go Rams! Brother Tacos works endlessly with the help of their kids to bring you the best authentic Mexican food to defiance in the surrounding areas. Brother Taco is a family-owned and operated catering service and a pop-up food vendor. No matter where we are or how we're serving, we have one goal in mind, to make you and your guests feel like family. Please call or text today at 567-344-0055. Brother Tacos, with you. Bottom of the third we go, 2-0 to Nora. And for the Aces, they got two, three, and four. Eli Lawrence, Austin Sanders, and Owen Stuckey. As I said, talking up here with the guys before the game, and you can always tell who's in charge of the playlist by the style of music that gets played. <laughs> Joe up here has the rocking 80s playlist here at Hicksville. <laughs> Eli Lawrence, 316 coming in. And an opposite field double in the first. First pitch is fouled off. Strike one. Pitch stays inside. Ball in a strike. Base is empty. Nobody out. Shoblin gets the sign. Come set. Pitch to the plate. Ground ball. Third base side. Spicella scoops it up. Throws over to Peters to retire Lawrence. 5-3 for out number one here in the Aces bottom of inning number three. Pitcher Austin Sanders. For Shoblin. Alec has 30 pitches, 22, stri 22 strikes. Excuse me. Austin Sanders, 317 coming in. 0 for 1. Hopped out to Mason McClellan at second in the first inning. Catch from the left side. First pitch is ball one. One oh pitch stays inside. Two balls and a strike. Is there a little hill out there, Jack, like in uh, Houston, center field? Look like it goes uphill a bit. Is there? My eyes aren't deceiving me. <laughs> Swung on, hammered into right field. It's going to be a solid hit. Sanders makes the turn. He hangs on there, but Sanders served the Shoblin pitch into right field. Now batting. Right Went in front of Trenton DeLarber. He threw it back in. So one out single puts Sanders at first. That's going to bring up Owen Stuckey. Stuckey, the cleanup hitter, grounded to third in the first. Kind of a half check swing by third base coach Tim Shock. He's like, I don't want no part of that. Instead, Tim's going to 
take the country mile to go to retrieve it down the third base side. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to walk back. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> the ball is in the strike. One out. Aces have a runner at first. They trail 2 0 here in the third. Ground ball, third base side. Spicella up with it. Goes to second for the force out. Relay not in time. But Spicella waited back on it. Fired over to second. Nip Sanders for out number two on the fielder's choice. Nice play down there by and the Second baseman David Taylor. But I'm gonna number five here, David Taylor. Taylor pop out unassisted in the second. First pitch swinging, ground ball right back to Shoblin. Scoops it up and almost threw a little bit too hard over there at first base. Peter snagged it. One three on the put out. The Aces in the bottom of the third. No runs for Hicksville. They get the one-out single. No Ram errors and one left on base. Top of the fourth we go over here at Hicksville. Throw Rams two and the Hicksville Aces nothing on your drop zone. Pizza Rea scoreboard. Local farmers, do you need the best crop insurance in the area? If so, Hall Crop Insurance is here to help. Contact Agent Chad Hall at 419-576-6140 for all of your crop insurance needs. Underwriter Nikki Geisinger is also available to assist at 866-341-2767. The staff at Hall Crop Insurance takes pride in their ability to serve their customers. If you need to talk to an agent or have questions about your policy, please give Chad or Nikki a call. Hall Crop Insurance wishes the best to all Tenora teams this season. Okolona Tavern, located in downtown Okolona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy a nice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okolona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okolona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Top of inning number four over here at Hicksville, Ohio. Rams with a 2-0 lead. Single runs for Tenora in the second and third. Rams are going to send up 6, 7, and 8. McQuillan, Spicella, and Homeyer. As Austin Sanders late coming out from the dugout. So Sanders going to get a few warm-up tosses. In. Coach Anders down there coaching at first base for Tenora. And... Coach Tipton down there coaching at third for Tenora. Coach Carey in there on the game changer. I don't see BR. I'm sure he's on the dugout. He was here earlier. I'm going to go to the bathroom, Jack. <laughs> so Sanders is completing his warm up pitches. McQuillan with a double in the second and had an RBI. Scoring Hunter Bosselman with the first run of the contest. Two runs, two hits, an error for Tenora. No runs, three hits, three errors for Hicksville. Pitch on the outside corner. Strike one from Sanders to McQuillan. Oh, one pitch coming from Sanders to McQuillan. Oh, no, count evens and a ball and a strike. And that is officially train number one on our train tracker here tonight. We had several over fours. So we're in the fourth inning, and that's just <laughs> one, one pitch to McQuillan's inside ball, too. Joe's down there celebrating. He was the only one of the four of us to take the under. Sanders, 2-1 pitch to McQuillan. Line drive, center field, couple steps back. Parker Bassett, this time Bassett did a much better job than the first plate appearance by McQuillan. McQuillan 
knocked it over his head. Bassett misjudged it a bit there, but Parker rebounds nicely here to retire McQuillan. F8 on the putout for out number one here in the fourth. Going to bring up Spicella. Adam, nice play last inning. Reached on an error in the second. Sanders winds, winds it up. First pitch to Spicella. Ground ball by the third baseman. Shortstop scoops it up. Throw over in time. Lawrence scooped it up deep in the hole there. Fired over. And Aiden Pollock scooped it up. Nice scoop over there. Now batting, Alex Holmeyer. 6 3 for out number two. Number eight hitter, Alex Holmeyer, is going to. Step in from the right side. He grounded into a fielder's choice in the second. First pitch just misses. Ball one. Rams up two. Nothing here in the top of the fourth inning. In the cloudy Hicksville afternoon. Early evening now. Sanders 1-0. Fouled back. Ball on a strike. Base is empty. Two outs. As the Rams bat here in the fourth, they lead 2-0. Single runs in the second and third for Tenora. Tomorrow, Rams will be home versus Stryker. Stop out the groove field. It's supposed to be nice. Check out the Rams. 1-1 one, one pitch. Just missed inside. Two balls and a strike. Try and snag the Lady Rams score. Ken. Two balls and a strike. Sanders pitch. Just misses. Homeyer has three balls. And a strike. Ball four. As... Homeyer trots down the first with a two-out walk. Lady Rams up 10-0 over the Lady Aces. Next door, top of the fifth. Skyly Zolman's pitch four innings, struck out five, walked two, allowed two hits, and is not allowed a run. Throw over back with the head first dive is Homeyer. It's a softball game, actually, Jack. Yes. Paige Gamby with three RBIs. Gamby and Billings with home runs. Tanae Smith with a triple. Norton, Gamby, Zolman, and Billings with doubles. First pitch to Aiden Mosher is a ball. Adams on the mound for the Aces has given up 12 hits and 10 runs all earned. Mosher walked, stole the base, and scored in the third. Speaking of stolen bases. Oh, that's right. DeLarber's up. Joe down there is keeping me set. So, oh my, <laughs> oh my ears. What's I jumped way ahead of myself. Yeah, I was doing a softball recap. I glanced down for a couple of seconds. Trent DeLarber's up. Thank you, Joe, for that save. One ball and a strike. Fits to DeLarber is fouled. Aiden Mosier over there fields it off the bat in the Rams first base dugout. Not only does Joe play really good music, he also keeps us in check up here. <laughs> Runner leads from second. One, two. Pitch is fouled right back at you. Home. One ball and two strikes to Trenton DeLarber. DeLarber, 385 coming in. He's walked seven times. Reaches out, slaps it foul, third base side. Count stays, ball, and two strikes. Splash pad going in over here at Hicksville, right next to the ball field. So if you're over here visiting Hicksville and you're coming to the splash pad this summer as DeLarber falls back, you might want to bring a batting helmet just in case. It's a little close to the ball field. So any Acme games over here, you might want to have your heads up if you're trying to cool off at the 
new Hicksville splash pad over here. Sanders, long look in, gets the sign. One, two, pitch coming to DeLarber. Just missed. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Two outs. Rams lead 2 nothing here in the top of the fourth. On the second is Alex Holmeyer. He walked and stole a base. Sanders comes set. 2-2 two, two pitch. Swung on. High fly ball in the infield. Shortstop Eli Lawrence calls everybody else off and puts it away for out number three. For the Rams in the fourth. Get a runner a second. They do not score for Tenora. Not get a hit. No errors. One Ram left on base. Rams have left three through four. Heading to the bottom of the fourth inning over here at Hicksville. Rams still holding on to that. Two nothing lead on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polish Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polish Salon is a proud supporter of Tedora Rams Live. For any of your auto body or collision needs, be sure to check out Bat and Stevens Body Shop. Give them a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate. Back at Hicksville, train number two on the train scoreboard as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Rams with a 2 nothing lead over the Aces. 6, 7, and 8 for the Aces. First baseman, Aiden Pollock. Pollock, Bassett, and Graber to face Alex Shoblin. Shoblin's biggest jam was in the second where the Aces loaded the bases with just one out, and Shoblin struck out the last two hitters to wiggle out of the mess. Pollock reached on an error by the shortstop in the first. Swings and drives it deep down the left field side. With activity in the Aces bullpen down the third base side. Shoblin comes set. 0-1 pitch to Pollock. He swings and lines it in the center field for a solid base hit. Pollock. 158 coming in. Stops at first. Number seven. Now stepping to the hitter plate. Ryland Bassett steps in. Bassett. Bassett, 238. Singled in the second inning. Bassett on a bat from the right side of the plate. Ball one. To Bassett. Shoblin looks over at first. Comes set. Pitches to the plate. That stays high. Two balls and two strikes to Ryland Bassett. Bronson Graber on deck for the Aces. Shoblin's 2 0 to Bassett. Outside corner. Strike one called. One pitch outside corner strike two two balls and a strike. Two two pitch Shoblin swung on and missed. Down goes Bassett for the first out. Now betting and warming up. Catcher Bronson Graver. Eli Lawrence is warming up down the right field line or left field line. Jack says. Bronson Graber steps in. First pitch to Graber. Strike called. Graber was hit by a pitch in the second to load the bases with just one out. And Shoblin struck out the next two hitters. 
Joblin's pitch. That stays outside. Count even to the ball. A strike. One out. Runner at first for the Aces. They trail 2-0 here in the bottom of inning number four. Pitch. Catches the corner up and away. Shoblin the head of Graber. A ball and two strikes. Brant Langham on deck. One, two, pitch. Old Tapper, shortstop side. Radzik waits for it. Flips over to second for the force out. Relay to first in the dirt. Gets by Peters. Does not allow the runner to advance. But force out at second to retire Pollock for now out number two. Third baseman, Brant Langham. So Graber reaches, reaches on the fielder's choice. 6-4 on the putout for out number two. That's going to bring up Brent Langham. Langham struck out in the second. Shoblin's first pitch to Langham. Strike called. I think Brent Langham is the quickest point guard that I saw this year is bringing the ball up the court. He was like a lightning bolt. He got the ball in bounds and boom. He was across half court in about half a second. 0-1 pitch to Langham. Swung on ground ball. Second base side. McQuillan in front of it. Throws over to Peters in time to retire the Aces here in the fourth. 4-3 Four, on the putout for Hicksville. No runs. They get a, a leadoff single. No Ram errors. And they leave a runner for Hicksville. They've left a runner on every inning. Six runners left on by the Aces. Top of the fifth, we go. Rams, two, aces, nothing on your drop zone pizza Rhea scoreboard. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street, right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. For, for all those you people that have waited too long to do your taxes, you might want to get a hold of Jenny. Maybe she can help you out. Jenny Weber, Weber Bookkeeping, does a great job. One of our longest sponsors, Jenny, has been. If, you, if you're still doing your taxes now and you haven't filed an extension, maybe in just a little bit of trouble. For the Rams, one, two, and three. Mosier, Radzik, and Shoblin to face Austin Sanders. Eli Lawrence was warming in between innings. Mosier walked, stole the base, reached on it, or went to third on an error and scored in the third inning for Tenora. Rams lead 2 0 as they bat here in the top of the fifth. First pitch is a ball. Second ball catches the corner. Strike called. One ball and one strike to Aiden Mosier. Austin Sanders has started. He's going the distance. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Mosier swings and fouls it off. Third base side out of play. Mosier back in. Sanders winds it up. 1-2 pitch to Aiden. Oh, slow roller, third base side. 
Ram Langham comes in, scoops it up, and fires over to get the speedy Mosier for out number one here in the fifth. Nice play down there by Brant Langham. 5-3 on the putout. Caden Radzik steps in. Radzik grounded out in the first, reached on the air in the third inning. Caden came in with a 387 average this season. First pitch to Caden is inside. Caden going to Finley in the fall. Big best wishes to Caden once he leaves Sonora. It's like Caden's been the varsity starter for forever. 1-0 pitch inside corner. Strike one called. The ball, a strike, one out. Caden, nice season last year. Actually, I believe has the... Number two spot on the Rams all-time stolen base list. Maybe it's number three. It's two or three. One one pitch is fouled third base side out of play. Usually I have it here with my 150 papers that I have out, but I didn't put it out here tonight. Sanders gets the ball back. This is one two pitch coming to Caden Radzik. Caden fouls this one off first base side. One two pitch coming to Radzik. Inside just missed him. Caden thought he was going to get hit. Ironically, Caden just has as many walks in his career as he does hits batsmen. It was almost 50-50 coming into the season. It was ungodly. 2-2 pitch to Caden. Drills it by head coach Brett Reynolds down there at third base. Caden had something like 28 career walks, and he's been hit 27 times. It was something amazing. It really was. Like your career walk to being hit ratio was almost one-to-one. Nobody wants that record. Sanders 2-2 pitch coming to Radzik. Breaking ball hit. Shortstop side through. Eli Lawrence. Radzik leads off the Rams. I guess it's the second here. That's a one out single by Caden Radzik. Little okay. wicked hop by the shortstop. Eli Lawrence for Radzik. The one out single for Caden. Going to bring up Alec Shoblin. Alec at an RBI sacrifice fly in the Third inning. Drilled a deep left center field. Parker Bassett made a nice running catch in the left center alley. Choblin, 4-12 coming in. Led the area in RBIs with 15 coming into today. Now he has 16 RBIs. First pitch to Choblin is a strike. No balls and a strike. Throw over to... First base back is Radzik. Always a threat to steal, Caden. We said Caden, I believe, was the number two record holder in stolen bases. Three at the worst. There goes Caden. Throw down by Graber. Not in time. Radzik in with a stolen base. Chamberlain has a ball and a strike count with one out. Radzik at second. Rams lead 2 nothing. Sanders leans over, gets the sign from Graber. Looks back at second. Wheel spins, fires back with the head first dive as Radzik into second base. Mr. Schaubert hammers it into the Aces dugout. One ball and two strikes. Radzik leads away at second. One, two count coming from Sanders as he looks back at Radzik. Pitch to Shoblin. Low gets away from Graber. Down to third trots Radzik on the wild pitch. So Radzik at third. Two balls and two strikes to Shoblin.
2-2 pitch to Shoplin. Way outside. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Lady Rams with a 10-0 win at Hicksville. Shoblin drills a deep left field. Back goes to left fielder. Ryland Bassett, he watches it go over that big tree out there. Unfortunately, it's a foul ball. Shoblin got all that one. Needs about another 10 more feet in fair territory, but he gave it a ride. He did off Aaron Klima. Absolutely. That's, that's a good point, Jack. Straight away center field, I believe, as well. 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Shoblin frozen. Goes down looking for out number two. Now batting, Hunter Bosselman. Hunter Bosselman's going to step in. Bosselman with a single in the second. Came around to score and flew out in the left center alley in the third. Bosselman digs in. On the right side of the plate, first pitch by Sanders. Swung on and missed. Strike one. 2 0 thinks Nora, top of the fifth inning. Pitch to Bosselman, high and away. Count evens of the ball and a strike. For Austin Sanders, it's got 96 pitches, 57 strikes. Sanders gets the sign, runner at third, winds it up. 1-1 one, one pitch to Hunter. This is a bit high. Two balls and a strike to Bosselman. Could be the last inning we see Austin Sanders. Eli Lawrence is warming up last inning in between innings. And when the Rams were at bat, or when the Aces were at bat. Bosselman swings, drives, or drives it high to center field. Parker Bassett waits on it, puts it away. For out number three for Tenora here in the fifth inning. They threatened, had a runner at third with one out. They do not score. Rams got a hit in the inning. No wastes errors. Tenora leaves. Another runner on base. Four runners left on for Tenora. Bottom of the fifth inning we go over here at Hicksville. Tenora two and Hicksville nothing. On your drop zone, pizzeria scoreboard. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance which is all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back at Hicksville. Rams still holding on to that 2-0 lead. Aces had a chance in the second inning. They loaded the bases with one out. It did not score. Shoblin has gone the distance thus far for Tenora and for Alec. He has 50 pitches, 36 of those are strikes. He's pitched four innings, allowed four hits, has yet to allow a run. He struck out three and has not walked anybody. Hard luck this season for Shoblin. Alec came in at one and three with an ERA of 3.29. Last year, Shoblin, I believe, was five and oh. Defense has not been Shoblin's best friend this season. His defense behind him, I should clarify. Or the Aces. One, two, and three. Bassett, Lawrence, and Sanders to face Shoblin. First pitch swung on and missed. Bassett 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the third. Swung and missed there. Oh, one pitch, swung on and missed. 
Joplin quickly had no balls and two strikes. Joplin's 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Three pitches and one out there. Bassett goes down swinging for out number one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Number two hitter Eli Lawrence going to step in. Lawrence singled in the first, grounded the third in the third, came in with a 316 average. Dolan pitched to the plate, stays outside. One ball and no strikes. Shoblin's 1-0 inside. Two balls and a strike, or no strikes to Eli Lawrence. Shoblin winds and delivers. That's outside for ball three to the backstop. It goes. And Lady Rams with a 10 0 win. They improved to 9 and 1 overall, and I believe 3 0 in the GMC. Rams travel to Liberty Center tomorrow in cold water. Lady Rams, that is. Squared around the bunt. Ball was just missed. So, Lawrence draws a one-out walk. Lawrence down to first. Now batting. Pitcher Austin Sanders. Number three hitter Austin Sanders steps in. Sanders popped out in the first and singled in the third. Sanders. That's from the left side of the plate. Shoblin comes set. First pitch swung on and missed. Five stolen bases for Earl. One stolen base for Eli Lawrence at first for Hicksville. Pitch to Sanders stays a little bit high. Count even to the ball. A strike. One out. Aces trail 2 nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. One one pitch outside ball two. Shawlin had great control coming into the inning. Walk Lawrence. Al Sanders is up two balls and a strike. Shawlin's two one. Swung on, fouled off third base side, out of play. Two balls and two strikes. Shoblin works from the extreme first base side of the pitching rubber. 2-2 pitch coming to Sanders. Ground ball, first base side. Pierce scoops it up. He's going to take the easy play. Steps on the bag at first. Down to second goes Lawrence. Sanders is out number two. Three unassisted. It's going to bring up Owen Stuckey, the number four hitter for the Aces. He is 0 for 2. Now batting, right fielder Owen Stuckey. Ground to third in the first and hit into a fielder's choice in the third. Short stop to second for the force out. Stuckey stayed on. David Taylor on deck for the Aces. Shoblin looks back at the runner. Lawrence at second. Steps off. Sanders. Grounded out unassisted for the second out. Stucky swings at the first pitch. Hits at the third base. Up with it is by Chella. Adam throws across in time to get Owen Stucky. 5-3 on that put out. That retires the Aces here in the fifth inning. For Hicksville. No runs. No hits. No ram errors. And the Aces leave another. Hicksville has left the runner on base every single inning. Top of the six we go. Rams still lead. 2-0 on your drop zone. Pizza area scoreboard. Who was the best pizza in the area? Anyone? Anyone? Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker has won that award three times in the last four years. 
From pilot bread to their famous pickle pizza, Harold and Liz and the crew are always looking for something special for their customers. Drop into Drop Zone Pizzeria's two locations in downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Closed on Mondays, but open Tuesday through Thursday and Sunday from 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Place your order by calling Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or Stryker at 419-990-2525. Don't forget to visit them on Facebook at The Drop Zone Pizzeria, where online ordering is available at toasttab.com. The Drop Zone Pizzeria, as always, says, let's go Rams. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Top of the sixth inning over here at Hicksville. Rams going to send up five, six, and seven. Parker Hancock, Mason McQuillan, and Adam Spicella. The three scheduled hitters to face Austin Sanders. Sanders still in the game. For Hicksville, for the Rams. Austin, one pitch away from 100. 99 pitches for Austin, 58 total strikes. Parker Hancock, 333 coming into the contest is 042. Sophomore backstop. Doing a great job defensively for the Rams. Sanders winds it up. First pitch. He's a little bit high to Parker Hancock. One ball and no strikes. For those of you that are keeping track of the trains, over under was four. We are currently at two here on the top of the six. So Joe down there is looking really good right now. He said under four. The rest of us up here said at least four or over. <laughs> Mr. Yoder is going to lose his college funds, he said. Uh-oh. Well, good thing he's young. He's still got time to work. <laughs> two hole pitch coming to Hancock from Sanders. Strike called on the outside corner. Two balls and a strike to Parker. Still very minimal win here at Hicksville. Wind is blowing straight away to center field. Five, six miles an hour. Two one pitch to Parker. Just missed. Three balls and a strike. Game time temperature was 68 degrees here at Hicksville, although Jack said it was 84. But that was in South Carolina. Do we're ready for a loop there? Like 84. It's not 84 here. <laughs> 3 1 pitch coming to Parker Hancock. Sanders winds it up, delivers to the plate. Hancock swings and misses. Count goes full at three balls and two strikes. Rams with a single run in the second and a single in the third. I believe there's just one earned run. Or actually, is there any unearned runs, Jack? 3-2 pitch to Hancock. Up and in. Ball four. Hancock with the leadoff walk. Starts the Rams top of the sixth. Trots down to first base. Now batting. Mason McQuillan. Mason McQuillan's going to step in. Mason doubled in the second. Had an RBI. Yeah. Law to center in the fourth. Goes down to have a brief conversation with Rams head coach at Third base, Mr. Brick Renolette. Connor Wolfram. Connor Wolfram in the pinch run at first for Parker Hancock. Walk on the play. That's going to take Wolfram down to second. So Connor trots down there. So Wolfram at second base with nobody out. Old school baseball, Brent Renolette down there, probably going to try and bunt. Wolfram down to third. McQuillan squares around the butt, and the pitch is high and away. Ball one. So Sanders has allowed two runs and no earned runs. One zero pitch coming. Squared around the butt. McQuillan bumps at first base side. Sanders off the mound. Stoops over to first base. Down the third goes Connor Wolfram with one out. Great bunt by Mason McQuillan. Did what he's supposed to do. Sacrifice one three on the put out. That's going to bring up Rams third baseman Adam Spichala. Actually, we're going to have a pinch hitter. BJ Morlock is going to bat for Spichala. 
Inch hitting for Tenora, B.J. Morlock. So Morlock steps in. And for B.J. this season, get the numbers on B.J. before my papers fly away. B.J. batting 217 on the season. And B.J. has a sacrifice here this season. And anybody that follows Tenora baseball throughout the decades probably know there's a possibility of a suicide squeeze coming up here with the runner at third and one out. So Wolfram's at third for Tenora. Morlock hitting for Spicella. Spicella singled in the second. Train number three on the way through here. Yeah, that's right. Jack says that's a bonus train. There's three. <laughs> Sanders from the set position. First pitch to Morlock is outside. Ball one. Keep an eye on uh, the runner down there at third. Connor Wolfram. Sanders comes set. Pitch to Morlock. Swings and fouls it off into the Aces dugout on the third base side. One ball, one strike, one out. Rams lead 2-0 here in the top of the sixth. Morlock digs back in. B.J. bats from the right side. Senior this season. Here comes the runner. B.J. BJ squares around the bunt, misses the bunt. And scoring is Connor Wolfram on the pass ball. So Morlock squared around the bunt, missed the bunt. Wolfram scored. So that's a strike as Morlock was squared around when the pitch came through. So it's a ball and a strike to Morlock. 3 nothing to Nora. Sanders, 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball, strike three called. Morlock froze, caught looking, is out number two. Now batting, Alex Holmeyer. The number eight hitter, center fielder, Alex Holmeyer. So Holmeyer <laughs> walked and stole a base in the fourth, rather the fielder's choice in the second. First pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. Oh, one pitch from Sanders. Breaking ball, strike two. Nice breaking ball by Austin Sanders. Has Holmeyer down the count. No balls and two strikes. So I'm going to admit they're fouled off. Just got a piece of it. No balls. Two strikes. Bates is empty. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Rams lead 3-0 over the Aces. Breaking ball just misses outside. The ball in two strikes. One two pitch coming from Sanders. Tap foul, third base side. Brent Langham comes on, scoops it up. One two pitch coming from Sanders to Homeyer. Breaking ball. Just missed. Tony even two balls and two strikes. <laughs> two two pitch from Sanders to Homeyer. Ground ball, deep shortstop off the glove on the backhand. Eli Lawrence. I don't know if you would have had to play had he field it cleanly. Jack says base hit. So Holmeyer on with a two-out single will be at first base. 
Coach Shock going to stick with Sanders. Trent DeLarber is going to step in. DeLarber, bats from the left side, is over 2. Kohlmeyer leads away at first. There he goes. Pitch to the backstop. Wild pitch. Kohlmeyer down at second now. DeLarber at the plate with a one ball, no strike count. Two outs. one zero pitch coming. From Austin Sanders. Check swing. Stays outside. Two balls on no strikes. In comparison, Sanders has 109 pitches. Alex Shoblin has 63. Sanders looks in gets the signs. 2-0 pitch coming to Trenton DeLarber. That one misses outside. Ball three. Three balls and no strikes to the number nine hitter, Trenton DeLarber. Top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier on deck for Tenora. Sanders asks for time. I think he wants a new baseball. Flips it to his catcher, Bronson Graber. And gets a nice shiny white one out there. Hundred and twenty pitches, says Jack. That's without the warm-up pitches in between innings, mind you, in the pregame warm-ups. 3-0 pitch coming. That pitch stays high. Ball three, or ball four. DeLarber draws a walk. So that puts Rams runners at first and second. Holmeyer's at second. DeLarber at first. Coach Shock asked for time. Could see a pitching change here. And I think we will. That's going to be all for... Austin Sanders. Prosperity painting pitching change coming up right after this. We'll be back with all the changes and we'll do it right after this. Hey, you, are you tired of staring at the same digi colors at your home or business? Prosperity Painting is here to help change that. Prosperity Painting is a local painting contractor specializing in interior and exterior painting for residential and commercial homes and buildings. No job is too big. No job is too small for Prosperity Painting. Everything from painting, staining, epoxy floors, and wallpaper removal, Prosperity Painting is here to brighten up your life. They will make your old look new again. Check out Prosperity Painting and its amazing portfolio of work on their Facebook page. And be sure to give Mike a call for a question. Whoa. At 419 789 0939. Prosperity Painting says, Go Rams! Hey, you! Are you looking for the best burger around? For the last two years, Firestone Tavern has brought home the award for best burger in the region. Firestone Tavern is also the area's go to for wood fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so, so much more. Chef Aaron and his fantastic staff are here to serve nothing but the best to their customers. Be sure to stop out after the game for ice cold drinks and all the games on TV that you can ask for. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course. Hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And from Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Looking to place an order? Give them a call at 419-785-4015 or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the very best to the Tenora Rams. Junior Brant Langham comes in to replace Austin Sanders. Sanders, five and two-thirds innings, four hits, three runs, one earned, struck out two, walk five. The two runners on are his responsibility for Langham. Pitched in three games thus far as he pitched seven innings. ERA is 0-40. That's not right. I got the wrong stat there. That's his batting average. First pitch gets away from Graber, scampering down to third base for Tenora. <laughs> oh, my ear. DeLarber goes down to second. A good scamper is always good, Joe. <laughs> One ball, no strikes to Mosier. Which is outside. Two balls at no strikes. Langan does not have an earned run yet this season.
2-0 pitch to Mosier. Strike called. Rams lead 3 nothing. You have runners at second and third as they bat here in the top of the sixth. Two outs. Aiden Mosier at the dish. Langham winds it up. Pitch. Hits Mosier in the upper right shoulder. That's going to load him up. Now batting, Caden Radzik. Langham 1-0 coming into the contest. First pitch to Caden Radzik. Strike called. Caden singled, stole the base in the fifth, reached on an error in the third, grounded the third in the first. Bases full of Rams, two outs. Radzik. Langham winds it up with the bases loaded. Pitch to Caden. Strike two on the outside corner. Langham's pitched in seven innings. Brant winds it up. 0-2 pitch to Radzik. Hit right back at him. Langham snags it. Fake the throw home. Instead throws over to first base to get Radzik for out number three. One, three on that put out. Rams threaten. Here in the six, they get just one. They leave them loaded for Tenora in the six. One run for the Rams. They do so with just one hit. Rams leave three. Bottom of the sixth inning we go over here at Hicksville. Tenora three. And the aces, nothing. We'll be back right after this time out here on Tenora Rams Live. Signs Excavating of Defiance offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Trucking Service can also assist in any of your equipment hauling needs. They're located at 2147 State Route 66. Signs Excavating, family owned and operated since 1999. For any excavating needs, give Josh a call at 419-769-2290. And for your trucking needs, bring up Brad, 419 419- 9481-3738. Be sure to visit them online at signsexcavating.com or Signs Excavating on Facebook. Signs Excavating wishes all the best to the Tenora Rams athletes. Rams lead 3-0 as we head to the bottom of the sixth. For the Aces, 5, 6, and 7, Taylor, Pollock, and Bassett to face Shoblin. For Sanders, he sees his evening in with five and two-thirds innings. He gave up four hits, three runs, just one earned run. Austin Sanders struck out two and walked five. Sanders had 123 pitches and 69 strikes. Two wild pitches for Sanders. Shoblin on the other end of the spectrum for Tenora. Has pitched five innings, allowed four hits, has not yet allowed a run. Struck out four and has walked one. Shoblin, 63 pitches, 43 of those strikes. Very effective. First five innings for Alex Shoblin as we knock on wood here. David Taylor, 0 for 3, 158 coming in. First pitch, nails him right in the back. You probably heard that one. So Taylor goes down to first after getting hit. First pitch by Shoblin, nails Taylor. So Aces with the leadoff batter here in the bottom of six, Aiden Pollock. Pollock reached on there in the second and singled in the fourth. Pollock, the first baseman, bats from the right side of the plate. Shoblin. Come set. First pitch is a strike. <laughs> Shoblin looks at the runner at first. 0 oh, 1 pitch to Pollock. Pollock hits it foul off his foot. Dribbles out there, third base side. Shoblin off the mound scoops it up, but umpire immediately called foul ball. Oh, 
We're at first. David Taylor. Nobody out as the Aces bat here in the bottom of the sixth. Choblin comes set. O2 pitch high and away. Ball one as Parker Hancock snags it. One, two, pitch coming from Shoblin to Pollock. Outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes. Three-nothing Rams here in the bottom of the sixth. Shoblin looks at the runner at first. Taylor leads away. Two, two, pitch to Pollock. Tap, shortstop side. Rads a couple of the steps on the bag for one. Relay to Peters at first for the twin killing. 6-3 on the double play. Pollock is retired. Taylor was forced to second for out number two. Come bring up Ryland Bassett. Base is empty now. Two out. Bassett steps in. Bassett singled in the second. Struck out in the fourth. Bassett. First pitch, ball one. Still haven't got to my 2014 story, which I'll have to do that next inning. 1-0 pitch, outside. Ball two. I think you're never supposed to start a story in the previous inning, but this could be a long story, so this may take a couple seconds to explain this. 2-0 pitch coming from Shoblin to Bassett. Coming up on the 10-year anniversary of the 2014 Snow Rams State title team. Rams won on a walk-off single by Clay Pittman in the bottom of the seventh to beat Newark Catholic. A thrilling state championship game, 2014. 3-0 pitch. High ball four. E.J. Kissel scored from second on that Pittman single. However... Hicksville and Tenora met in Bryan, I believe, in the district semifinals. And the Rams were down to their very last strike. Now batting. And as Jack so called remembered, there was a ball called on then Hicksville starter Wes Perry that tied the game up, and the Rams won it. As the ball is fouled third base side, Raylan Bassett steps in. But the Rams, who came on to win that game and that at bat, the eventual 2014 state champs were down to their last strike in the district semifinals to these aces. Pitch is high, count evens, a ball and a strike, and the rest is history, but just one of those funny things that you go back and look at history that Sonora was almost eliminated before they even got out of the districts. One one pitch is high. Throw down the first base. Gets by Peters down the right field line. It goes. Taylor hits second. He's going to hold on there. It's going to be an error on the throw to allow Taylor to get down to second. He won. Or Bassett. My apologies. That's why you guys are up here. So Bassett is down there. Two one pitch stays a bit high. Three balls and a strike to Bronson Graber. Bassett leads away from second. Chauvin's three one fouled at the plate. Saw something on Tuesday against Edgerton. The I it's the first time I saw it. The runner was stealing. From first to go to second, the ball was fouled into the catcher's glove for strike three. And the runner was allowed to stay at second for a stolen base. You you don't see that ever. Three, two pitch. Swung on, fouled off first base side out of play. That's the first time I've ever seen it in the millions of games that I've watched. Foul tip into the catcher's glove for strike three. The runner was in motion. 
with one or nobody out, irrelevant, but he was awarded second base on a stolen base. Foul tip directly into the catcher's glove. 3 2 pitch. Just misses ball four. Graber down to first base on the walk. That's going to put runners at first and second. No activity in the Rams bullpen as pitching coach Eric Tipton pops out of the Rams dugout, asks for time. He's going to have a conversation with Alex Choblin. As I said, announcer Jinx. Choblin, very good control coming into this inning. And it's falling apart a little bit here. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's the thing. Like, they always say you go to a baseball game, you're probably going to see something you never saw before. And like I said, the thousands and thousands and thousands of baseball games that I've witnessed, I've never saw that. <laughs> that's exactly right, Jack. And now batting for the Aces. Aces have runners at first and second. With two outs, they trail 3 nothing. Number 9 hitter, Brant Langham. Steps in, Langham 0 for 2, come in batting 0 48. Shoblin, 80 pitches, 49 strikes. He's hit two batters. He steps off, chases Bassett back to second. Shoblin's pitch to Langham, ground ball, shortstop side. Razzik up with it, long throw across. Got the speedy Langham by a step. 6-3 on the put out for out number three in the inning for the Aces. They threaten again. They do not score. No runs for Hicksville. No hits. One Ram error and the Aces leave. Two more on base. Nine runners stranded by Hicksville through six innings. Top of the seventh we go over here at Hicksville. Three nothing Rams lead over the Aces. We'll be back on your drop zone. Pizza Rhea Scorbo. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at fairchildfamilychiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla. Proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters say go Rams. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Back to the action on Tenor Rams Sports Live. Back here at Hicksville, 3-0 Rams as we head to the top of the seventh inning. Lady Rams victorious 10-0 next door, which seems like an hour ago. I should have had Coach Fairchild come up here and join me as he did for the football and boys and girls basketball season. He certainly had time as the Lady Rams are down here watching the boys as when they make the drive over, generally they ride in the same bus. So Lady Rams improved to 9-1 and one this season. Skyly Zolan with the win. Skyly goes to 8-0 and oh on the season. They're in a fantastic year as Skyly's headed to Tiffin in the fall. Rams already have a couple. Headed to college, and Anna Frazier playing her freshman season on the Toledo Rockets softball team. Quite an honor for Coach Fairchild to see Anna make this walk-on for the Lady Rockets of Toledo. Three, four, and five. Shoblin, Bosselman, and Hancock to face Brant Langham. Langham came on last inning in place of Austin Sanders. Langham winds it up. First pitch coming to Shoblin. Swung on and missed. Sanders definitely pitched a very good game. Allowed just one earned run. Langham's 0-1 pitch coming to Shoblin. Breaking ball fouled at the plate. No balls and two strikes. 
Chaplin with an RBI in the third. Trick out looking in the fifth. Langham's 0-2 pitch coming to Shoblin. Pitch is high. One ball and two strikes to Alec. One ball, two strikes. Langham winds it up. Pitch to Shoblin. Swung on and missed. Shoblin goes down for the second straight time. It's the first out of the top of the seventh. It's going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman singled and scored in the second, and he's flew out his last two times. Flew out to left center in the third, flew out to center in the fifth. Bosselman with the homer seven or eight runs batted in now. Came in hitting 407. First pitch, strike one. Lady Rams wearing their all blacks today. Next door in the victory versus Hicksville. 0-1 pitch. That stays outside. One ball, one strike, one out. Base is empty. Rams lead 3-0 here in the top of inning number seven. Breaking ball, high and in. Two balls and a strike. To Hunter Bosselman. Mr. Yoder over here falling asleep at the wheel. Two, ball, two balls and a strike. <laughs> Stayed outside. Three balls. That is not a train. That is a railroad work vehicle. That does not count as a train. So we're still at three on the over under of four for trains. 3-1 pitch to Bosselman. Little shallow fly ball drops between the center fielder Bassett. Both Bassett's and Lawrence's short perfectly placed by Hunter Bosselman for a little bloop single. Going to bring up the number five hitter, catcher Parker Hancock. Hancock walked and was pinch ran by Connor Wolfram in the six. Wolfram came around and scored on a wild pitch. Suicide squeeze went awry. Got by, by the catcher. That is not a train. <laughs> Railroad utility vehicles do not officially count as trains. <laughs> oh, one pitch. Just missed outside. Runner at first, one out. Rams lead 3 0 here in the seventh. Mason McQuillan on deck for Tenora. Throw over. Head first dive into first base is Bosselman. Langan comes set. Looks at the runner. France 1-1 one, one pitch to the plate. Outside, nice backhand stab by Bronson Graber. Langham's 2-1 coming to Parker Hancock. Foul deep down the right field side. Oh, five feet foul. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Back to first base goes Hunter Bosselman. Thanks again, everyone, for watching or listening here on Tenor Rams Live. Keith Round solo tonight. Two balls, two strikes. Rams lead 3 0 here in the top of the seventh as they bat. 2 2 pitch coming to Parker Hancock from Brant Langham is outside. Ball three. Three balls and two strikes to Parker Hancock. Looks down at third base coach Brett Renolette. Bosselman leads away at first. Langham leans in, gets the sign. 3-2 pitch coming from Langham to Hancock. That's low ball four down to second base. 
goes Bosselman and Parker Hancock is on with a two-out walk. Mason McQuillan's going to step in with runners at first and second for Tenora. Now batting, Mason McQuillan. McQuillan came in with a 136 average, had an RBI double in the second. Flew out to center in the fourth and had a sacrifice in the sixth. Langham looks back at Bosselman at second. Comes set. Pitch to the plate. Strike on the outside corner. Langham's 0-1 pitch as he glances at the runners. Pitches in the dirt. Graber scoops it up. Fires down to third. Not in time to get Bosselman. Hanging on at first was Parker Hancock. So Bosselman went down to third on the wild pitch. And Hancock stayed on. Reed Andrews giving Parker a little bit of instruction there. Afterwards. The Rams have runners at first and third with one out. Rams lead just 3 nothing. They may try and steal a run here. Langham from the set looks at the runners at first and third. Comes to the plate. There goes the runner. Swung on and driven into right center field. That hits the gap. Scoring is Bosselman. Throw into second base. Not in time. McQuillan with an RBI double. Gives Tenora a 4 nothing lead. Second double for Mason. Got two RBIs. Now batting, Adam Spichala. So Bosselman scored, hustling all the way to third was Mason McQu or Parker Hancock. And McQuillan is in with a double. Lang was pitched to Spicella. Ball one. Singled in the second. Trick out looking from B.J. Morlock. Actually, pinch hit for him in the sixth. Comes a runner from third. Rams, another suicide squeeze. Throw to first base in time. Scoring. From third was Parker Hancock. That's a base hit and an RBI. By Spicella. Hustling all the way down to second. Was Adam. Now batting. So McQuillan's down at third. And hustling down to second is Spicella. Rams lead 5 nothing, Still one out. Squared around the bunt again. That was a safety squeeze. Holmeyer singled in the sixth. Walked in the fourth. Runners lead from second and third. Langan comes set. Looks at the runners. 0-1 pitch to Holmeyer's outside. Count evens. The ball and a strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Runners lead from second and third. Langan comes set. Steps off. Throws over to third. Ball gets away from third baseman Brant. Or... Third baseman down there. Lawrence. Correct. Eli Lawrence came in for Langham. And Langham went to the mound. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Homeyer. Safety squeeze. Bunts at third base side. Langham throws it in. Not in time. Scoring is McQuillan. The runner down to second. There he goes. Slides in safely. So McQuillan scores on another squeeze. Holmeyer with the RBI. Hustles into second. Stopping at third. 
was Spicella. So Rams with three runs here in the seventh on squeeze plays. Rams actually won a state semifinal on a steal of home in that 2014 semifinal game. And Logan Dickerson actually spoke with the team on Tuesday. That's the gentleman that scored another safety squeeze. Here comes the runner. He scores. And Trent DeLarber is on at first. So Spicella scores from third. Holmeyer down to third. And DeLarber is on with the RBI on the fielder's choice. 7 nothing to Nora. They have scored four runs here in the seventh. All on squeeze plays. Top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier. Wild pitch. That's going to have played another run as Alex Homeyer comes in from third. Down to second on the wild pitch is Trenton DeLarber. Rams lead 8 0, and just like that, a close game has exploded. Still just one out. Mosier. Takes the 1 0 pitch, called a strike. Unless you were here watching this game, you couldn't even explain this inning. It would take you 35 minutes to explain what happened. Lying was 1 1 pitch to Mosier. He squares the bunt, bunts it foul. Third base side. Four hits, five runs, five earned runs, a strikeout, and a walk off Langham here in two-thirds of an inning. Pitch to Mosier. One-two pitch. That's low. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Langham's 2-2 coming to Aiden Mosier. He drills a deep right side foul down by the visiting bullpen on the first base side. <laughs> 45 minutes, I ordered a pizza here, thinking I'd pick it up at 7.15. It's now 7.15. <laughs> It said it would be 45 minutes. I'm like, this is perfect. That was swung on and missed by Mosier. Second out of the inning. Now batting, Caden Radzik. And for Langham, it's first strikeout. Two outs now, Caden Radzik at the plate. Langham pitching from the stretch. Pitch to Caden, bit high. Ball and a strike. Grounded out in the first, reached on the air in the second. Singled and stole the base in the fifth, then grounded back to the pitcher in the sixth, Caden. 1-0 pitch, swung on, drilled deep. Left field, back goes the left fielder. Ryland Bassett puts it away. So Ramson, nine to the plate. Here for 10, 10 to the plate here in the seventh inning. And the Rams score five runs. Nine men to the plate, says Jack. And the Rams score five runs. Five hits, I think. And I don't believe there was any Hicksville errors. Rams leave a runner on base. Bottom of the seventh we go. Rams lead 8-0. We'll be back on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard right after this timeout. 
Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in A will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things Clubhouse Pizza in A has for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in Nay. Or check them out on Facebook at Clubhouse Pizza Nay. Rachel and Jason Gilliam and the great staff at Clubhouse Pizza in Nay are proud supporters of the Rams. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Rams lead 8-0 here in the bottom of the seventh inning for the Aces. Pretty top of the lineup. One, two, and three. Bassett, Lawrence, and Sanders to face Alex Shoblin. Shoblin, six innings pitched, four hits, has not allowed a run. He struck out four. He's walked three. Shoblin has 81 pitches, 50 of those strikes. He has hit two batters. Parker Bassett has struck out his last two straight times, one looking and one swinging. As it came in, hitting 520 this season. Shaolin comes set. First pitch to Parker Bassett. Swung on high foul ball. Third base side out of play. Strike call on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes quickly to Parker Bassett. Check said that 31 pitches by Brant Langham that last inning. 0-2 pitch. Tap first base side. That's going to stay fair. Shovelin off the mound. Throws the first base in time to get Bassett. Nice play by Shovelin and Peters to stay on the bag. Bassett has retired one. Three for out number one here in the seventh. Third baseman, Eli Lawrence. Number two hitter, Eli Lawrence. Singled in the first. Grounded out in the third. Walked in the fifth. Shaolin's first pitch. High and away. Ball one. Unofficially, I have the Rams for eight runs on eight hits and two errors. Jack agrees, so we're good. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Eli Lawrence. That pitch stays a bit high. Two balls and a strike. Shoblin winds and fires. Pitch foul back. Strike two. Base is empty. One out. Rams lead 8 nothing. Rams with a five-run seventh. In an inning that you can't even describe. Had to be here to witness it. 2-2 two -two pitch. Stays a bit outside. Count goes full. Three and two. Austin Sanders on deck for the Aces. 3-2 pitch. Up and away. Ball four. One out walk by Eli Lawrence. He trots down to first base. Going to bring up Austin Sanders. Sanders 317 coming in. Now batting. He Austin is Sanders. one for three. Singled in the second. Or third. Singled in the third. Sanders bats from the left side of the plate. First pitch. Up and in, ball one. Shovelin's 1-0. Swung on, fouled third base side. Back behind us on a new splash pad that will be installed sometime this summer over here at uh, Hicksville. Swung on and miss. Shoblin ahead of Sanders. One ball and two strikes. 
Runner at first, Eli Lawrence. Not going to take any chances over there. One-two pitch from Shoblin. Ground ball in the right field for a base hit. Stopping at second is Lawrence. Sanders with a one-out single puts aces on first and second. Owen Stuckey. Right fielder Owen Stuckey. Uh, step in, Stuckey. 0 for 2. Came in with a 200 average. Chablin trying to get that shutout. He's just trying to spoil it. Pitch outside. Ball one. The last time Tenor was over here was 2022. I believe it was the same score. Connor or Kaysen Wolfram with a shutout over Jackson Bergman. 1 0 pitch inside. Strike called. One ball, one strike, one out. I think Jackson is pitching for Toledo, if I'm not mistaken. Toledo Rockets, yes. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Choblin, long walk in, gets the sign from Parker Hancock. He sets off, steps off, goes through the signals again. This time he gets the one he wants. Choblin's 1-2 coming to Stucky. Just a little bit low. Two balls and two strikes. 8-0 to Nora. Bottom of the seventh. Aces have runners at first and second with one out. Lady Rams victorious 10-0. Or the Lady Aces next door here. Goblins 2-2. Swung on and missed. Nice off-speed pitch there. Got Stucky for out number two. Now batting. Last chance for the Aces. Second baseman David Taylor. David Taylor steps in. Taylor was hit by a pitch. His last at bat is officially 0-2. Goblins pitch. Crowded to Radzik is short. He flips over to McCool in a second. And that's going to do it. Here over at Hicksville, Rams with a 8 nothing victory. 6-4 on that last put out for out number three. The Aces threaten. Do not score. No runs for the Aces. They get one hit. No Ram errors. And two left on base. Rams move to seven and four. They go to two and one of the GMC. The Aces fall to two and seven, oh, and three in the GMC. We'll be back with the post game show coming up from Bidlack and Shirts and Investments. And we'll have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. We'll do it right after this. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. Back at Hicksville, Rams with a 8 nothing victory. Welcome to the Bidlack Insurance and Investments postgame show for Tenora. Eight runs, eight hits, two errors. Hicksville, no runs, five hits, three errors. Time of the game, two hours and 23 minutes. Rams got a single run in the second to get things started. (laughs) It's a red angel. Go pick it up. (laughs) Jack's going to steal my pizza. (laughs) Rams got scoring going in the second. Hunter Boss have been singled and scored on an RBI by Mason McQuillan. Rams added their second run in the third. Gade Moser walked, stole the base, and scored on a sacrifice by Alex Shoblin. Game was three to nothing. The Rams scored their third run in the sixth. 
Parker Hancock with a walk. Connor Wolfram ran for Parker, came around to score. And then the seventh inning, which we don't have enough time to recap this whole thing. Rams scored five runs on five hits in the seventh. And all those were basically safety or suicide squeeze attempts in the seventh inning. So Rams with five runs in the top of the seventh on five hits. See you, Jack. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mr. Jack Shock, fantastic individual. So Rams with eight runs on eight hits. Winner was Alex Shoblin. He improves with two and three. Shoblin pitched seven innings, allowed five hits, did not allow a run, struck out five, walked four, pitched 100 pitches, 62 of those were strikes. Starter, tough luck loss for Austin Sanders, pitched well, five and two-thirds innings, Four hits, three runs, just one earned run. Struck out two, walk five. Brant Langham pitched an inning and a third. Four hits, five runs, all earned. Struck out two, walked one. And Langham threw 38 pitches. 20 of those were strikes. Have your Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award, and we'll do it right after this. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Welcome back to Hicksville High School. Rams with a 8 nothing victory. Welcome to the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. Higby Embroidery Player of the Game tonight, we're going to give to Alex Shoblin. Shoblin. Picked up his second win, pitched a five-hit shutout, struck out five at the plate. Joplin was over three, had an RBI. So your Higby and Broder, your player of the game tonight, goes to Alec Joplin. So congratulations to Joplin, and thanks to you for watching and listening. Lady Rams victorious next door by a score of 10 to nothing here at Rams. Improved to 7 and 4, 2 and 1 in the GMC. Hicksville falls to 2 and 7, 1 and 3 in the GMC. Thanks to you for watching and listening. Thanks to our sponsors, Fairchild Family Chiropractic, Optimal Force and Fitness Clubhouse Pizza and A, Batten Stevens Body Shop, Hick uh, Tenor Rams Athletic Boosters, Wooden Indian Pawn Shop, Bit Like Insurance and Financial Services, Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon, Weber, Bookkeep Weber Bookkeeping. A little tongue-tied. Whole crop insurance, signs excavating, Higby Embroidery, Rob's Own Pizzeria and Striker, and Ayersville. Wiener, Hole, Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley. It's been a long night. Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley. Attorneys at law. Oklahoma Tavern. Only valid title agency, BSN Sports, Firestone Tavern. Mayfield Engineering, Post of Insurance and Investments. Northwest Ohio Sports, Brother Taco and Catering, Schlegel Farms. Vince Salinas and Michelle Bacon, Laura Kepi, Kevin Weber. Of Weber Materials, Prosperity Painting, Nicely Storage and Rentals, Patriot Outdoor Hunting, Aftershocks, Carson and Equipment, Michael Hearn for our commercial voiceovers, and thanks to you for tuning in, radio or TV. Have a good night, everybody. Rams with an 8 nothing win. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action. And follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.